According to a report, Bob Risky was arrested this morning. As he, as she, 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 he, as she, let us use she for her, as she was trying to flee the country this morning, and uh, the report partially is coming from very dark mind self. You know, they were supposed to go to that meeting again, National Assembly, as of today, to continue with the investigation and the hearing. But, uh, you know, as at that last time, when they went, Bob Risky wasn't present. And they told the lawyer to Bob Risky, say, make sure Bob Risky is present. So as of today, according to what we have heard, the guy, the girl, was trying to flee the country to go to Benin Republic. As he was trying to move, then they got him arrested for attempting to flee the country. Well, let's listen to the news carrier that is a very dark man. All right, so Bob Risky was arrested this morning at Semi Border Post on his way to escape to Benin Republic. He sent someone to help him sign his international passport and need in the car. The Nigerian Immigration Service is currently holding Bob Risky. You know, say, um, as you all know, our House of Rep mattered on the come up. And the uh, next thing, according to the report, say Baba won Japa, the whole land. You know, understand? So, all those mouths when they make it to confirm whether not true or not lie, may Bob Risky go on live now or make him make video posts. Just the way he make video posts, they make noise. You know, understand? When I say you're going to learn, you will learn. If the prison is involved in this, if the ASCC are involved in it, and the names he mentioned in that video, like I said, we don't give them respect enough. But if person they inside corruption, you understand, if person get they party to corruption, we go drop respect because we will they look for for Nigeria and the betterment of the country. And we know if they look for the betterment of the country, most of what they don't respect. This generation is going to take Nigeria without respect because we don't to respect the old peoples and they know they do well. Now make Nigeria be like this. So the Godfather, we are trying to call prison according to the voice note. You will present yourself at the end of the day. Nobody is going anywhere. You understand? So Nigerian uh, immigration, they say deal with Tuna. Hmm? I know Sona self, Mona better do quick post the news before Godfather will call Luna. And all those church of Chori Bobriski they talk. I won't know your connection. Mind you, mind you, mind you. This thing, it might look like it's a wind chance for me and Bob. No. You understand? My problem is this. If the people that have been sentenced to go to prison don't go to prisons, it is a problem in Nigeria. If EFCC We'll be collecting money to drop charges. Okay, you know, I'm going to hand it there. They say the girl, the woman, Bob Brisky has been arrested. I do not know much about I don't really can tell how and when, what time and the rest. But the thing is that she, she was arrested today, according to Very Dark Man. The Immigration Service has yet to publish any news concerning that. And was it that an arrest warrant was already issued on Bob Risky before? Or was it that Bob Risky was already wanted because we never knew an arrest warrant was issued or her name was flat before? But what we are hearing is that she was arrested again this morning. Wow. Okay. I still believe eh, the matter is not going nowhere. My 150k bet today. I still believe the matter... It's not going anywhere. But if the matter goes somewhere, uh, I will be surprised. I will be surprised. Honestly. I will be surprised if the matter goes anywhere. But if it, if it doesn't go anywhere, I won't be surprised. Because I already anticipated it that the matter no they go anywhere. As long as Nigeria is concerned. But if the matter goes somewhere, then good and fine now. Now, one win for Nigeria. It's a, it's a big win for Nigeria. So, let us see. Uh, the system is now working. It's now working, Abi. So, Bobriski, sorry. Now, the gain.
immigration at the Naba, so where they will transfer her to police. Police, because EFC say they did the investigation, nothing concerned them about Briske again. Then prisons, we are waiting for prison for them to conclude. But according to prison, they say uh, Bobriski spent his time there well. So why is she running? Is there any evidence? I don't see the reason why Bobriski should be running if there is no real evidence. Because for me, except something they make we no know about, make Bobriski know say he don't mess up. That's why he they run. Understand? Well, you want to run for Nigeria, call on forever. It's better you face the problem head on. If you call on, if you run for Nigeria, you go abroad, go to do, nobody will send you again. No. Your money will go down, though, pata 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 pata, me they do, no go to uh, uh, blow again. No. So better remain for Nigeria and face your problem. If you know, if, you, if they say sentence to go jail, go to jail. Go to jail. Well, that being said, let us talk about this guy, Drewski. Drewski, the Africa America comedian who came to Nigeria to do content. So this guy was hanging out with some Nigerians yesterday night, and these are the uh, videos of him hanging out, you no know, flexing himself in Nigeria clubs, and uh, of course showing up the, the the chain and everything. Just for this guy to tweet. This guy wrote, he said, Africa's scammers be living their best life. Just for this guy to post, say, Africa's scammers be living their best life. You deflex with Africans. You come your motherland. They flex. Just for you to start posting, Africa's scammers be living their best life. Then, this was the response from Nigeria. Daniel Regal Rai said, This is beyond insensitive. Nigeria are often labeled scammers, just based on our nationality, without any reason or proof, and you are furthering the stereotype with this heel content. All the days you stayed in Nigeria, this is the best you can say about us Nigerian, disgraceful. Someone said you are stupid, big fool. The other person said you came to Nigeria and they portray us as scammers. Other person said of all the things you could have chosen to represent Nigeria, this is what you went with, weird. That guy is one of the most stupid guy I've ever seen in my life. He's, he, he's not funny. I beg if you are in Nigeria close to that guy, eh, tear that guy's slap. If you see him, that is big face, eh, tear and slap. You do not have the right. Nobody, we never begged you to come. You know, see the uh, key accident. May come, Niger. Went to all those, say, eh, I do a leg back then. Even give people money. Represented it well. We loved him. And you, with your big mouth and stupid face, you came to this country and started uh, calling us Kama. You enjoy the food, you enjoy so many other things, and you couldn't say nothing about us. And you say scammers. What are you? You don't say something about these uh, slave trade people. These slave trade people, as soon as they just leave, they just feel like they are way more better than other Africans. Who are you? You are a descendant from a slave. We are descended from kings living in our own kingdom, despite the irregularities and everything that's going on. You are living as a slave. Man, this guy, or oh, all those Nigerian guys made their among them, they need to tear and slap. Eh? That will make me just happy. Tear a slap. A foolish boy. The flesh is called a foolish boy. A foolish boy. A foolish boy.
So that guy, no, no, you know what? You need to just leave this country because the Nigeria will carry your matter for forehead, though. They will deal with you. You have to just leave. Leave this country, stupid boy, big face. Mumu. They fed to say fat people to the Mumu. I never knew it. Up, up until now, me and Jordan see and first answer. Crazy.